Yeah, good morning, students. In the last class we have discussed up to last class we have discussed about snooping TCP. Uh, before snooping TCP, we have discussed about in ITCP. Okay, uh, where we are, uh, we are at uh, uh, snooping TCP. In last class we have uh, completed snooping TCP. Indirect TCP and snooping TCP both are the classical TCP improvements. Uh, moving down to the next point, uh, next section that is uh, one more improvement to the classical TCP that is MTCP or mobile TCP. Okay. After indirect TCP, we have seen in the indirect TCP we have also some disadvantages. So the major disadvantage in uh, TCP is there is lost lost of end to end semantics and coming to the next one in mobile in in snooping tcp we have yeah in uh, snooping tcp there is no loss of end to end semantics okay now mo moving on to the next one uh, in today's class we have uh, we are going to start with mtcp this is uh, also called as mobile tcp this is very similar to the previous ones uh, that is see the diagram here in this mobile tcp we have three parts first one is mobile host second one is supervisory host sh means supervisory host and third one is the standard host or fixed host okay here the tcp connection is divided into two parts here here there is end to end semantics still possible see from mobile host the link is directly between standard host and mobile host that means end to end tcp connection is there but the TCP connection is divided into two parts. One is optimized TCP that is in between. Listen carefully. The TCP connection is divided into two parts. One is optimized TCP. This optimized TCP is between the mobile host and supervisory host. And the second TCP is unmodified TCP. This unmodified TCP is in between supervisory host and standard host okay now the new word uh, in this uh, mobile tcp that is in previous section in between the mobile host and standard host we have seen the foreign agent we have seen the access point or foreign agent in 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 the place of access point or uh, some foreign agent in this mobile tcp we have we are seeing the supervisory host okay now we need to know about what is supervisory host and what is the responsibilities of supervisory host okay in one sentence we can say the supervisory host plays uh, the role which 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 is uh, likely as foreign agent okay the foreign agent what what the foreign agent will do the foreign agent will monitors each and every transaction between the mobile host and standard host likewise the supervisory host also plays an equal and important role of as foreign agent okay see the diagram once again this is end to end semantic end to end tcp connection between the supervisory host standard host and mobile host and the tcp connection is divided into two two parts one is optimized tcp that is in between mobile host and supervisory host second connection is unmodified tcp this is between standard host and supervisory host now see why uh, why we are uh, using here the supervisory host means the supervisory host plays important role in mobile tcp Coming to the, just see the diagram first. Here, the transmission happens between mobile host to standard host and as well as standard host to mobile host. Now, 
what supervisory host will do is whenever a packet is transmitted to mobile host whenever a packet is transmitted from standard host to mobile host listen carefully about this point whenever a standard host transmit a data to mobile host okay what it will accept what what it will accept uh, expect from the mobile host after receiving the after sending the packet it will uh, it will expect expect a acknowledgement but it it will not receive any acknowledgement after some time okay after sending the packet it will expect a acknowledgement but it is not getting any acknowledgement from the mobile host what is the reason why the mobile host is not sending acknowledgement to the standard host the primary reason is the mobile host due to the mobility due to the mobility the mo due to the mobility what happens whenever the mobile is in mobility it 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 faces so many handovers it faces so many handovers in these handover procedures sometimes the mobile host may be disconnected from the tcp connection whenever the whenever the handover procedure happens sometimes the mobile host may be disconnected from the tcp in that in that case it may not able to send it may not able to send or receive the messages okay in that case it will not send the acknowledgement after sending the packet the standard host will expect expect a acknowledgement okay now what supervise now here the supervisory host comes into the picture the supervisory host monitors about the mobile host whether the mobile host is connected or whether the mobile host is disconnected okay and the intent namu ikkada standard host ninchi మొబైల్ హోస్ట్ కి డేటా ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ చేసినప్పుడు ఏమైందంటే మొబైల్ హోస్ట్ దగ్గర నుంచి స్టాండర్డ్ హోస్ట్ కి ఏం రావాలి ఎక్నాలజ్మెంట్ రావాలి ఎక్నాలజ్మెంట్ రాకపోతే మీనింగ్ ఏంటి ప్యాకెట్ రీచ్ అవ్వలేదని మీనింగ్ వై ద ప్యాకెట్ హ్యాస్ నాట్ రీచ్ టు ద మొబైల్ హోస్ట్ ద మొబైల్ హోస్ట్ మే బీ డిస్కనెక్టెడ్ ఆ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఎవరు పాస్ చేస్తారంటే సూపర్వైజరీ హోస్ట్ ద సూపర్వైజరీ హోస్ట్ మే ఇట్ ఇన్ఫార్మ్స్ టు ద స్టాండర్డ్ స్టాండర్డ్ హోస్ట్ to stop the transmission to stop the transmission because the mobile host is disconnected until and unless the supervisory host informs to transmit the message again till the time the standard host doesn't start the transmission malli eppudaithe mobile host connect ayindo at that point of time the supervisory host informs to the standard host to transmit the message ante simple meaning one word one sentence entante standard host mobile host ki data transmit chesinappudu mobile host to acknowledgement transmit cheyali reverse lo transmit cheyaledante meaning enti packet reach avaledani reach aa information evaru cheptaru supervisory host cheptaru endukante supervisory host and mobile host are connected via optimized tcp connection if it moves far away then the supervisory host knows this was disconnected okay apude em chestadi supervisory host will informs to the standard host to shrink ante taggichukom anamata to shrink the sender window size to zero sender window size zero chestunnattu meaning enti there is no further message to send మళ్ళీ సెండర్ విండో సైజ్ ని ఎప్పుడు ఇంక్రీజ్ చేసిద్ది స్టాండర్డ్ హోస్ట్ ఫస్ట్ పంపించిన ప్యాకెట్ కి ఎక్నాలజ్మెంట్ వచ్చింది కదా సపోజ్ మీ మీ సింపుల్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ మీ మొబైల్ లో ఏంటంటే లైక్ టేక్ ద వాట్సాప్ యాజ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మై మై ఇంటర్నెట్ కనెక్షన్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ డిస్కనెక్టెడ్ యూ సెండ్ వాట్సాప్ మెసేజ్ టు మీ దెన్ వాట్ యూ విల్ ఫైండ్ ఇన్ యువర్ వాట్సాప్ యూ విల్ ఫైండ్ ఓన్లీ సింగిల్ టీ దట్ ఇన్ఫార్మ్స్ ఓన్లీ ద మెసేజ్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ సెంట్ okay in a single tick informs the message has been sent not delivered whenever the whenever my internet connection is back whenever my internet connection is back the, the, then what you will get in your mobile phone you will get double ticks that informs you your message got delivered you got an acknowledgement then only 
you can send further message then only you can send further message kakapothe deentlo entante who will inform to the standard host the supervisory host here the supervisory host informs to the standard host about the mobile host disconnectivity after the mobile host gets into the connection okay automatically the standard host will get the acknowledgement and it will increase increases the sender window size to 1 and it will send the next packet okay this ala cheyatam valla use entante amma first packet ki acknowledgement raakunda continuous ga 2 3 4 5 pampiste use enti if a sender doesn't get the acknowledgement for the first packet okay దాని తర్వాత మళ్ళీ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ పంపిస్తే యూజ్ ఏంటి ఫస్ట్ ప్యాకెట్ ఎక్నాలజ్మెంట్ రాలేదు అంటే దెర్ ఈజ్ ఏ ప్రాబ్లమ్ అని మీనింగ్ కదా అందుకనే ఏంటంటే ఫస్ట్ ప్యాకెట్ కి ఎక్నాలజ్మెంట్ వచ్చిన తర్వాతే ఫర్దర్ ప్యాకెట్ కి ట్రాన్స్మిట్ చేస్తారనమాట ఓకే బట్ ఈ కనెక్టివిటీ డిస్కనెక్టివిటీ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఎవరు ఇన్ఫార్మ్ చేస్తారు ద ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ సెంట్ బై సూపర్వైజరీ హోస్ట్ సూపర్వైజరీ హోస్ట్ will acts as a foreign agent as we have seen in indirect tcp and as well as in snooping tcp okay hope you understand about this and the mobile tcp will preserves the end to end semantics between the mobile host and standard host ikkada end to end tcp connection ni preserve chestund anamata okay hope you understand about this okay yeah, let us go back uh, how uh, in previous section see in snooping tcp we have mobile host and corresponding host corresponding host and uh, standard host is both same here in between the mobile host and corresponding host we have seen foreign agent in snooping tcp and go back uh, to the indirect tcp here also in between the mobile host and corresponding host we have a foreign agent or access point okay but different in mobile tcp it is different in between the mobile host and the standard host we find a supervisory host which plays same role as foreign agent or access point okay here coming to the main objective of uh, mobile tcp is to prevent the sender window from shrinking if bit errors or disconnection but not congestion cause current problems chodamma when when ipudu chodamma nen sender me receiver nen first send chesina packet ki na na acknowledgement vache entha varaku i cannot send further that means my sender window becomes to zero why i decreased why i my sender window shrink to zero that means the supervisory host informs me whether the, the, the mobile the mobile host regarding the mobile host disconnection whenever the mobile host backs into the connection again the supervisory host informs to me about the connection then my window size will be increased okay then only i can able to send the further data okay and one more objective of mtcp is to improve overall throughput lower the to lower the delay what is meant by throughput throughput means per minute or per second or per particular point or amount of time how much data and how many packets will be transmitted okay the mtcp objective is to improve the overall throughputs to improve the overall throughput already this throughput point we have discussed in previous class at slow start mechanism at slow start mechanism uh, we have decreased uh, the throughput okay here in mtcp uh, the major objective of mtcp is to improve the overall throughput lower the delay lower the delay means after sending the packet the senders the sender will not take more time to transmit the next packet okay and as well as see the see this point where my cursor is pointed maintain the end to end semantics as i shown in the diagram 
maintain the end to end semantics this line this bottom line represents the end to end semantics that means the standard host and mobile host will have the perfect relation end to end tcp relation okay and last objective is adapted to the problems arising from lengthy or frequent discussion disconnections here the discon whenever we are dealing with the mobile whenever we are dealing with the mobile due to its mobility so many times it may be connected or it may be disconnected at the end it will come back to the connection and sometimes it may be disconnection the that disconnection even it is longer but it can supports this mobile tcp can supports the transmission why disconnection happens means so many handovers will be done why because whenever we are moving from one place to another place our mobile goes under so many handovers so many handovers is nothing but our mobile changes so many base transceiver stations during this point of time it may be disconnected it may be disconnected okay in these cases also the mtcp will supports already we have discussed about the supervisory host see the point here the, the supervisory host adds the same role as the proxy or foreign agent in ttcp i told you right the supervisory host plays as equivalent uh, role as foreign agent or that uh, proxy okay moving down to the next one see this point the supervisory host monitors the acknowledgments already i told you it will monitors the data transmission as well as acknowledgments being sent by mobile host okay when the supervisory host chokes choke ante entante eppudaithe sending window size ni taggichukovali ante previous diagram you want to make sure you can maybe understand this supervisory host standard host ki eppudu information ichiddante let's move move into the this one if standard host chokes the sender by setting its window size to zero eppudu adi disconnect disconnect ayinappudu lagapothe fail ayinappudu sender window size ni zero cheskomani inform chestadu anamata if sender window is zero means nothing to send okay advantages as we discussed it will maintain the end to end semantics okay and does not require the change in sender's tcp even uh, the mobile host is disconnected it does not waste in time okay and last one no need to send the old buffer data to new sh in the in case of handover okay yes you might understand you you must understand about the handover procedure then only you can understand this mtcp in handover procedure there might be there might be a disconnect possibility of so many disconnections okay in those cases also what i what i told you here no need to send old buffer data to new sh in case of handover in case of handover that means handover means just this point we will discuss in next topic next topic means in fast retransmit disadvantages coming to the disadvantages <coughs> mtp assumes lower bit error which is not always true and any packet lost due to bit errors ring then it's propagated to to the sender ante ente antaram ikkada even a small bit of error a supervisory host always informs to the sender to stop the transmission okay that is the one of the problem and second one is modifications are required for the mobile host protocol software some modifications are required okay that requirements will be discussed 
next topics okay this is about mtcp mtcp lo me gutu pettukovalsina okate ok word amma that is a supervisory host ee ok word gutu pettuko me raayach anamata in between the mobile host and standard host we have a supervisory host and the tcp connections are divided into two parts okay the e point gutu pettuko raayach next point the uh, next improvement next classical tcp improvement is fast retransmit or fast fast retransmit or fast recovery here whenever a mobile is listen carefully this point is very very important and you need to understand change in foreign agent what is meant by change in change of foreign agent change of foreign agent means the mobile moves continuously as the mobile moves continuously it may changes several foreign agent as long as it is in one place it is under one foreign agent it moves away and it may undergo another foreign agent and so on this change of foreign agent often may cause a packet loss a packet loss why because why why the packet loss happens uh, the change of foreign agent means suppose i the sender sends data packet to the one recipient address at that point of time it changes the foreign agent at that at that point of time there might be a possibility of packet loss there might be a packet of possibility of oh sorry might be a possibility of packet loss and in this case the tcp reacts with the slow start although there is no congestion chodam ikkada first how the tcp will start before uh, after starting the this unit we have discussed about uh, first topic we have discussed about is tcp this tcp is having three major responsibilities first major responsibility is reliable in order delivery the second responsibility is control the packet flow between the transmitter and the receiver transmitter means sender and receiver and the more importantly most importantly it will control the congestion in the network okay here see the, the second point which we we have seen on the screen the tcp reacts with slow start after traffic unna lekapoyina gaani if there is a traffic in the network or if there is a traffic in the network or not unna lekapoyina gaani it will start with the slow start slow start and the meaning and the initially it sends one packet after getting the acknowledgement it doubles the sender's window congestion window okay that is slow start mechanism anta anamata ikkada man topic enti our topic is fast retransmit or fast recovery okay now see this point highlighted here with bullet forced fast retransmit when the fast retransmit is forced here what what i told at the beginning of this fast retransmit and fast recovery the mobile host may changes the mobile host may changes several foreign agent this is very very important point if you you understand this point then only you can understand the rest okay if the mobile host changes the foreign agent if the mobile host changes the foreign agent at that point of time there might be a possibility of packet loss okay now what i am asking you when the forced fast retransmit will be permitted the answer is as soon as the mobile host has been registered with the new foreign agent that new as soon as the mobile host has been registered with the new foreign agent means the mobile host undergo changes the foreign agent right then what happens 
the mobile host sends duplicated acknowledgements the mobile host sends duplicated acknowledgements okay then this forces fast retransmit mode at the communication partner apude em aidante aa agent change ayinapude em jarigiddante the mobile host sends duplicated acknowledgements ante meaning enti suppose i am a mobile host when I, whenever i am i changes i moved from one foreign agent to another foreign agent what i will send i will continuously send the duplicated acknowledgement means ack2 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 means what is meant by ack2 till that point till that packet i have been received i need next packet in that case ack2 ack2 the duplicate acknowledgement or receive sent by the mobile host means ante anta varake vachini ack2 varake vachini next packet raledu even though the sender sends 3 4 5 and so on ack2 varake vachina meaning enti only the mobile host has been received till packet 3 okay in that case very very important mobile host sends duplicated acknowledgements on it purposefully it purposefully sends duplicated acknowledgement this forces uh, uh, the, uh, the meaning enti meeru naaku packet 1 pampicharamma 2 pampicharu 3 pampicharu 4 5 pampicharu nenu meeku meeru enni pampichina ga nenu ack2 ack2 ani continuous meeku meeku isthunna anamata ante meaning enti that force you to retransmit from the next packet ante ack2 tarvata packets pampichu ani cheppi forced retransmit ante i am forcing you to retransmit the next packet and meaning anamata hope you understand my intention uh, this forces the fast trains retransmit mode at the communication partner additionally just this is uh, enough okay adhavin kada meeku meeru naaku enni packets pampichuna gaani నేను ఏం చేస్తున్నా సింపుల్ గా నాకు ఎంత వరకు వచ్చినాయో అంత వరకు నేను కంక్లూడ్ చేసుకుంటున్నా ఏసీకే టూ మీనింగ్ అంటే ఏంటి ఐ గాట్ వన్ ఐ గాట్ టూ ఐ డెంట్ గెట్ ఫర్దర్ దెన్ వాట్ ఐ నీడ్ టు ఇన్ఫార్మ్ యూ ఏసీకే టూ ఏసీకే టూ దట్ యూ నీడ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ ఓకే ఓకే మై పార్ట్నర్ గాట్ టిల్ సెకండ్ ప్యాకెట్ ఐ నీడ్ టు ఐ నీడ్ టు సెండ్ థర్డ్ ప్యాకెట్ ఓకే అంటే మీనింగ్ ఏంటి ఇక్కడ డ్యూ టు ఇక్కడ ఏం చెప్పాను ప్రీవియస్ పాయింట్ due to this one due to the mobile host when mobile host has been registered with the new foreign agent at this point of time there might be a packet loss there might be a packet loss okay this is what about fast retransmit or fast recovery this is also one of the improvement to the classical tcp next next one is transmission timeout freezing transmission timeout freezing ikkada transmission timeout freezing ante just you need to idi kuda chaala simple topic amma already i told you uh, mobile host ante meaning entante most of the mobile hosts ikkada okay, point me first point chalvanam kadam ayindi everybody uh, follow the screen మొబైల్ హోస్ కెన్ బి డిస్కనెక్టెడ్ ఫర్ ఎ లాంగర్ టైమ్ ఎందుకంటే డ్యూ టు ఇట్ ఇట్స్ మొబిలిటీ సమ్టైమ్స్ ఇట్ మే నాట్ గెట్ ద సిగ్నల్ సో ద మొబైల్ హోస్ట్స్ కెన్ బి డిస్కనెక్టెడ్ ఫర్ ఎ లాంగర్ టైమ్ ఇఫ్ ద మొబైల్ హోస్ట్ ఈస్ డిస్కనెక్టెడ్ ఫర్ ఎ లాంగర్ టైమ్ వాట్ ఇట్ వాట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో ప్యాకెట్ ఎక్స్చేంజ్ ఈస్ పాసిబుల్ అంతే కదమ్మా డిస్కనెక్ట్ అయితే ప్యాకెట్ ఎక్స్చేంజ్ పాసిబుల్ అయిద్దా పాసిబుల్ అవ్వదు then tcp disconnects after time out completely oka konta point of time varaku wait chestadi after time out emaiddi tcp connection ante mobile host ki standard host ki unnatu vanti tcp connection disconnect ayipoyindi okay my point is i'm repeating once again the mobile host can be disconnected for a longer time okay in this 
in this case if the mobile host is disconnected for a longer time in this case no data exchange is possible and as well as tcp disconnects after timeout completely ante konta timeout timeout tarvata inka disconnection undu anukondi appudu mobile host ki standard host ku natavanti tcp connection may be completely disconnected now next point what is tcp freezing our topic is transmission timeout freezing here in in mtcp the supervisory host plays an important role in a mobile tcp or mtcp the supervisory host plays an important role likewise here in transmission timeout freezing the mac layer the mac layer hope you all know about the mac layer the the data link layer will contain two sub layers one is mac sub layer and another one is llc sub layer the above sub layer is called as mac sub layer the below sub layer is called as llc sub layer here the mac layer comes into the picture here the mac layer is often able to detect the interruption ikkada entante inda ka interruption or detect chesaru inda ka mobile tcp lo the supervisory host detects the disconnection of mobile here the mac layer is often able to detect the interruption in advance ante connection interruption information ni the mac layer will detects and after detecting this interruption the mac can inform the tcp layer the mac can in mac layer this is i'm inform about discussing about the layers this mac layer can inform the tcp layer of upcoming loss connection ante enti i have detected one loss one 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 interruption okay next interruptions goda ante previous packet to transmission lo mac sub layer oka loss ni detect chesindi ante oka interruption ni detect chesindi aa detect chesina information ni this mac layer is informed to the tcp layer this mac layer can inform to the tcp layer about the upcoming loss ante previous packet a problem lo undi next further packets kuda problem face avutayi ane upcoming loss information also will be informed to the tcp layer who will informing that is the mac layer is informing to the tcp layer now what tcp will do ante next vache mottham problem avustundi next next em chestadi the tcp stops sending the tcp stops sending and enduku send chestadi previous ga pampinchina packet problem lo undan naaku inform information ochindi kada but next ee kuda congestion lo gelipothe malli ani cheppi tcp em chestadi tcp stops sending the data then mac like malli malli problem solve ayin tarvata em chestadi max layer signals again if reconnected ante malli problem solve ayin tarvata evaru information istharu mac layer will informs to the tcp then aap aa time aa point of time lo em ayyadi freeze ayipoyind anamata em ayyadi aa time tarvata freeze ayipoyind anamata andukani dinne em annam ante transmission time out freezing annam anamata okay upcoming loss information will be informed to the tcp by the mac layer then the tcp layer will stop tra stra stops the transmission and it will goes to it will it will be freezed until and unless the mac layer will informs to the tcp layer about the reconnection a reconnection information malli mac malli mac layer tcp layer ki information icche enta varaku it is in the freezing mode మళ్ళీ ఎప్పుడు అన్ఫ్రీజ్ అయ్యేటప్పుడు అది మళ్ళీ రీకనెక్షన్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ మ్యాక్ లేయర్ టీసీపీ లేయర్ కి ఇచ్చి ఇచ్చిన తర్వాత రూట్ క్లియర్ అయ్యేది దెన్ ఇట్ విల్ స్టార్ట్ ట్రాన్స్మిషన్ ఆఫ్ డేటా ఓకే హోప్ యూ క్లియర్ అబౌట్ దిస్ టాపిక్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ సమ్ అడ్వాంటేజెస్ అండ్ డిస్అడ్వాంటేజెస్ uh just you go through it, you, you can understand easily
next very very simple selective retransmission the selective retransmission uh, is very similar to this this is some some somewhere connected to go back n somewhere connected to go back and uh, if you have discussed in we have discussed in computer networks hope you all aware of it okay what is meant by selective retransmission very very simple suppose sender receiver two parties are here if sender sends packet 1 packet 2 packet 3 packet 4 packet 5 five packets are transmitted by sender to the receiver selective retransmission means whenever the, there is a packet lost whenever there is a loss of packet in the transmission the, the receiver will ask the sender to re, to retransmit the data again in that case only uh, the sender will retransmit the data and another case of retransmission is if that sender doesn't get an acknowledgement for the transmitted packet after time out the, the same packet will be retransmitted now here in this case what i told you about five packets right at the beginning of this topic 1 2 3 4 are transmitted whenever there is a loss అంటే ప్యాకెట్ త్రీ లాస్ అయింది అనుకోండి ప్యాకెట్ ఫైవ్ లాస్ అయితే మీనింగ్ ఏంటి ప్యాకెట్ ఫోర్ లాస్ అయితే మీనింగ్ ఏంటి వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ప్యాకెట్ లాస్ అంటే మీనింగ్ ఏంటి ఫోర్ తర్వాత టెన్ వరకు పంపించామమ్మా ఫోర్ ప్యాకెట్ ఫోర్ లాస్ట్ అయింది టెన్ పంపించాం అప్పుడు ఆ లాస్ట్ మనం డిటెక్ట్ చేసాం అప్పుడు నార్మల్ కేసులో ఏం చేస్తాం వాట్ వీ విల్ డూ ఇన్ ద నార్మల్ కేసెస్ ఎక్కడైతే లాస్ ఆఫ్ ప్యాకెట్ వచ్చిందో వెన్ వేర్ వీ ఫౌండ్ ఫౌండ్ ద లాస్ ఆఫ్ ప్యాకెట్ after all data ante tarvata pampichina tante 5 6 7 8 9 all will be retransmitted in the normal case ante 10 packets lo fourth packet loss ayindamma appude em em chestam manu malli 4 nunchi 10 varaku malli retransmit cheyali that is in the conventional tcp in this retransmission in the in this ala ala cheyatan em untam chudandam ee point ikkada chudandi if single packet are missing quite often a whole packet sequence beginning at the gap has to be retransmitted dan valle em ayyadi actually fifth packet ki problem ledu sixth ki seventh ki eighth ki ninth ki tenth ki there is no problem only the problem is with fourth packet instead of sending the fourth packet again we are entirely transmitting 4 to 10 again what it leads to it leads to wasting of bandwidth it leads to wasting of bandwidth in this case to avoid this problem our selective retransmission comes into the picture in this case what happens then what i will send ack ack3 vachina nenu em chestanu ack4 ack3 ack3 continuous ga transmit chestha ante meaning enti అంటే మీనింగ్ ఏంటి ప్యాకెట్ ఫోర్ రాలేదని ఆఫ్టర్ రిసీవింగ్ ద ప్యాకెట్ నెక్స్ట్ ఏం సింపుల్ గా ఏసీకే టెన్ అంట డైరెక్ట్ గా ఏసీకే టెన్ అంటే మీనింగ్ ఏంటి ఇప్పుడు మీరు ప్యాకెట్ వన్ పంపించారు అమ్మా టూ పంపించారు త్రీ పంపించారు ఫోర్ పంపించారు తర్వాత టెన్ దాకా పంపించారు నాకు త్రీ వరకు వచ్చింది ఫోర్త్ ప్రాబ్లం వచ్చింది అప్పుడు నేనేం చేస్తాను రిసీవ్ బీయింగ్ రిసీవర్ ఐ నీడ్ టు ఇన్ఫార్మ్ ద సెంటర్ అబౌట్ ప్యాకెట్ ఫోర్ రైట్ నేను ఏం చేస్తానంటే ఏసీకే త్రీ అనే పంపిస్తాను మీరు టెన్త్ ప్యాకెట్ పంపించినా కానీ అప్పుడు ఏం జరిగింది ఓకే ఇది ఫోర్త్ ప్యాకెట్ రాలేదంటారు కదా ఆ ఫోర్త్ ప్యాకెట్ రాగానే నెక్స్ట్ నేను ఏం చేయాలి ఏసీకే ఫైవ్ పంపను ఏసీకే సిక్స్ పంపించను డైరెక్ట్లీ ఐ కెన్ సెండ్ ఏసీకే టెన్ వై బికాస్ టిల్ టెన్త్ ప్యాకెట్ ఐ డింట్ ఐ డింట్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఓకే హోప్ యూ గాట్ దిస్ పాయింట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ సెలెక్టివ్ రీట్రాన్స్మిషన్ అండ్ ద లాస్ట్ వన్ ఈస్ transaction oriented tcp transaction oriented tcp this is very very important uh, with respect to uh, tcp uh, here the diagram shows the three way handshake method 
మీకు ఎప్పుడైనా టీసీపీ వాట్ ఈస్ టీసీపీ కనెక్షన్ అంటే ఏంటంటే హియర్ దిస్ డయాగ్రామ్ షోస్ త్రీ వే హ్యాండ్ షేక్ మెథడ్ ఓకే వెన్ ఎవర్ టూ పార్టీస్ ఆర్ మెంట్ మనం మామూలుగా నార్మల్గా కొత్త ఇద్దరు టూ న్యూ పర్సన్స్ కలిస్తే ఏమైంది యూజువల్లీ వీ షేక్ అవర్ హ్యాండ్స్ వీ విల్ షేక్ అవర్ హ్యాండ్స్ హియర్ ద త్రీ వే హ్యాండ్ షేకింగ్ మెథడ్ అంటే ఏంటంటే ఇక్కడ చూడండి అమ్మా టీసీపీ హ్యాస్ త్రీ ఫేజెస్ నార్మల్గా త్రీసీ హౌ మెనీ ఫేజెస్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఇన్ టీసీపీ త్రీ ఫేజెస్ వన్ ఈస్ ఫస్ట్ సీ ద డయాగ్రామ్ కనెక్షన్ సెటప్ ఫేజ్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఈస్ డేటా ట్రాన్స్మిషన్ ఫేజ్ third one is connection release phase first see here we have a mobile node and corresponding node first connection setup phase we are discussing about first phase first tcp connection tcp mobile node sends tcp connection request to the corresponding node chodanamma tcp spn means this is the connection request sent by a mobile node to the corresponding node after receiving the tcp sin synchronization ante connection request ante meer pampinchina connection request naaku ochindi ani reply isthadu anamata tck synchronization ack ante meaning enti meer pampinchina tcp synchronization request naaku ochindi ani pampisthadu anamata next it will send tcp ack okay after these three conversations after these three conversations happens between mobile node and corresponding node the connection is set up between mobile node and corresponding node once the connection is set up between the two parties what what is the next step data transmission is the next step so some data messages has been sorry uh, some disconnection problem here happens now once the connection has been set up the data transmission uh, the data transmission phase in the data transmission phase the data, some messages has been exchanged between the mobile node and corresponding node and acknowledgments also exchanged the data transmission is completed then what what is the next one connection establish a connection mano release cheyali ఇలా టీసీపీ ఫిన్ అండ్ మీన్ ఫినిష్ అనమాట టీసీపీ ఫిన్ దిస్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ సెంట్ బై మొబైల్ నోట్ టు ద కరెస్పాండింగ్ నోట్ ఓకే నువ్వు పంపించిన ఫినిష్ రిక్వెస్ట్ నాకు వచ్చింది అని కరెస్పాండింగ్ నోట్ ఎక్నాలజ్మెంట్ ఇచ్చింది ఏమని టీసీపీ ఫిన్ సారీ Uh, after these three points after these three points the tcp has been completed first one is connection setup second one is connection data transmission third one is connection release okay there's some there is uh, some network issue uh, we will continue uh, the, the rest of the topic in the next class in tomorrow's class uh, we have already completed uh, third unit uh, we are at the end of the th fourth unit okay in the next class we will discuss about uh, the rest okay